There's a lot of doctors out there that have tried to argue with me that, you know, patients, they want to see me. And I'm sorry, doctors, you're not that cool. They don't want to see you. And, but there's this fear that if all of a sudden we're, we're seeing them remotely instead of in the office as much, that you won't have that connection and you won't have that communication and all of a sudden you're going to lose that with patients and that'll be a negative. We have found the exact opposite that it's actually our communication is so much better now and it's so much more consistent and at such a higher volume of communication with each patient that our customer care is actually better than it used to be. Patients being able to communicate with us directly whenever they want to through the app is so easy for them and my virtual assistant she can get right back to them or if it's something that me specifically needs to answer a question to, she'll just put it on my to-do list and, and I will be able to answer it really quickly for her. So um, that communication level has actually gone to an, another level. I mean, a really good example of this is when we're in our consults, particularly with a, a teenager. So the moms are in there not really wanting the teenage boy in particular to do clear liners because they don't trust them to follow through and do what they're supposed to do. The teenage, teenage boy is pushing because he wants the clear liners. He doesn't want to have braces. So we, there's like this tension in the consult. And for us, we've been able to say, well, you know, we use this product called dental monitoring and every single week, you're going to be taking some pictures or Johnny is going to be taking these pictures on his iPhone and he's going to submit those to us and every week we're going to be checking and making sure Johnny's doing what he's supposed to do. If he's not doing what he's supposed to do we will know every single week we will know we will be on this and we'll be the ones then to be on his case if he's not following through and it's amazing you just see the mom just go and just the tension goes out and you see the teenage boy kind of perk up like because he knows he's going to be able to get clear liners now. That I didn't anticipate that really being such a bonus. So that right there has, has just been great. What we're doing with our monitoring is such a higher level of care than what we had before. I mean, we've typically only seen patients every couple of months. I mean, a lot can happen in eight weeks that we don't know. and. Now that we're seeing them every single week, think about hygiene. Hygiene alone, you're on it every single week and you know what's going on. That's a winner just in itself right there. Uh, we've caught some gingival recession that we were right on and saw it right away and got them over to their dentist or a periodontist that if we weren't monitoring each week, it would have been a couple months before we saw that and it would have been much worse. So I think the argument that virtual monitoring or virtual appointments isn't real orthodontics. I think people are really missing the power of, of, of what virtual monitoring really is. It's actually providing better orthodontics than what we used to do.